Both RNA and DNA are long, strand-like molecules. RNA is a single strand, whereas DNA consists of two strands coiled around each other to form a helix. To simplify the structures, we will uncoil and straighten the strands. When looked at in more detail, both RNA and DNA are chains of repeating units called nucleotides. Within RNA and DNA, nucleotides consist of a phosphate group, a sugar, and a base, which are all made up of various atoms. To distinguish the atoms found in the sugar from those found in the base, the carbon atoms in the sugar are numbered 1 prime, 2 prime, 3 prime, 4 prime, and 5 prime. The phosphate group is bound to a carbon atom at the 5 prime position. One of four bases is bound to the carbon at the 1 prime position. RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. Ribose is the sugar in ribonucleic acid. An OH group is bound to the carbon at the 2 prime position in ribose. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Deoxyribose is the sugar in deoxyribonucleic acid. Deoxyribose is very similar in structure to ribose. To form deoxyribose, the 2 prime carbon of ribose is deoxygenated, leaving only hydrogen. The four bases found in DNA are adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. These are abbreviated A, G, C, and T. The bases adenine, guanine, and cytosine are also found in RNA. Thymine is not. The fourth base in RNA is uracil. Uracil is abbreviated U. Structurally, the bases belong to two groups. Adenine and guanine are purines. Uracil, cytosine, and thymine are pyrimidines. Unprimed numbers are used to designate the atoms in bases. For example, the atoms in the pyrimidines are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Notice the differences at position 4 between cytosine, uracil, and thymine. Thymine and uracil differ only at position 5. The atoms in the purines are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Note the structural differences between adenine and guanine at positions 2 and 6. The bases are all attached to the one prime carbon of the sugar in a nucleotide. The phosphate group is bound to the five prime carbon of the sugar. In a chain of nucleotides, the phosphate groups are located between the three prime position of one sugar and the five prime position of another. This alternating arrangement of phosphate and sugar forms the backbone of the nucleic acid chains. Nucleotide chains grow only at the free 3' prime end. Nucleotides used for chain growth contain three phosphate groups at the 5' prime position. The innermost phosphate group in the nucleotide forms a phosphodiester bond between the two sugars. The remaining two phosphate groups are released. The nucleic acid chain continues to grow at its 3' prime end. Another nucleotide is added in the same way. The free end is always the 3' prime end. Unlike RNA, DNA has two strands. The nucleotides in the two chains are upside down from each other. In other words, the 5' prime to 3' prime phosphodiester bonds run in opposite directions. For this reason, the two strands of DNA are said to be antiparallel. The two antiparallel strands of DNA are held together by hydrogen bonds between the bases on opposite strands. Because of their complementary structures, guanine and cytosine always pair up. There are three hydrogen bonds between a GC pair. Adenine and thymine form another complementary pair. 
there are two hydrogen bonds in an AT pair. The base pairs in double-stranded DNA resemble the rungs of a ladder. The two sides of the ladder are anti-parallel chains of phosphate and sugar. The two sides of the ladder twist around each other to form the familiar double helix